When I was putting this build together, I was not expecting to have three 100 stats. The best part is it remains constant across all three subclasses, because we don't have arc just yet. I barely have to change out the mods, besides the stat boosting ones since different subclasses have different fragments with different stat boosting capabilities. Since my mods remain the same, let's start off there. Firstly, Kinetic Siphon, to generate orbs with a kinetic weapon. Pulse Rifle Targeting, since it's cheap and I've got Outbreak equipped. And then, Well of Life, to grant health regen whenever a solar well is picked up. On the arms, Anti-Barrier Pulse Rifle, since I'm using Outbreak. Melee Kickstart, to get the melee back just a bit quicker. And lastly, is Elemental Charge, which is mainly here because it fits and there's really nothing else to use besides maybe Elemental Armaments. But since this all revolves around Chromatic Fire, the use of an energy weapon is more or less prohibited. For Chromatic Fire itself, all of the damage reduction mods, even though I am rocking 100 resilience, dying really does put a damper on things. And then Fontamite for any situation where picking up the same element well is possible. The legs take advantage of recuperation and a rocket scavenger mod. And the last one being Explosive Wellmaker to make use of Well of Life. Something to know about this mod, practically anything that goes boom, even explosive payload on your fate bringer and such, counts and can spawn a solar well. So, Chromatic Fire is a perfect fit for this mod. Last but not least is the Bond. Really the only purpose for this is for the stats. I put on Radiant Light and an Arc mod to allow for the plus 20 in strength. You could put anything here technically, but since I'm going for 100 stats, this is what I had to do. Now onto the subclasses. First up, Stasis. Obviously, using the only super we have and the only melee we have, but I am using the Glacier Grenade which I'll explain in a minute. For the aspects, Frost Pulse to freeze nearby targets when using a rift, and Glacial Harvest to take advantage of elemental shards. For the fragments, I put on Whisper of Shanes to take less damage when near stasis crystals or frozen targets, Durance to have the slow last longer, Conduction for those pesky shards to make their way to me, and Shards to give quicker ability regen when destroying a stasis crystal, hence the Glacier Grenade. Even though I've put together an already build with these fragments, I mainly use them for the stat boost to achieve those crispy 100s. Next, Void. I'm using a big purple ball of death, Slova Bomb, because it's my favorite, the only Void melee we have, and a Suppress Grenade, which will make sense in a second. For the aspects, Feed the Void for Devour, and Child of the Old Gods, because I'm lonely. The fragments, once again, favor more towards stats than an actual build, but I think it works out alright. First is Expulsion, which makes ability kills go boom, then Leeching for Resilience, Domineering for Discipline, which is then also why I use Suppression Grenade to actually take advantage of this fragment, and finally, Instability, so that my Void weapons can also go boom. Lastly, Solar. I'm using Daybreak along with Incinerator Snap and the Fusion Grenade. For the aspects, I have Touch of Flame for a Double Trouble Fusion Nade and Icarus Dash to get out of dodge. Or I guess, to dodge. <laughs> anyway. For the fragments, I have Combustion, so my super kills will ignite, Eruption, so that ignitions are larger, Char, to spread Scorch via those ignitions, and Ashes to apply more Scorch stacks. Once again, mainly using these to boost my stats, but I think this is the most concise out of the three. Overall, I was not expecting to have a 3 100 stat build, and on top of that with an exotic that is very niche. As someone who likes to use strange loadouts from time to time, this one definitely takes the cake. Chromatic Fire always interested me because it was so simple, but looked really cool, especially with the ornament. I mean, mainly with the ornament. Otherwise, it looks dumb. But now, I have a build across all three, soon to be four, subclasses that is a lot of fun and can be paired with all my favorite primaries, including Outbreak, Ace of Spades, and Hawkmoon.